Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for the last day of July 2014. I'm meteorologist Carl Bonac, and on July 31st, the high 75, the low 51, closer to average, but still between 2 and 3 degrees below the long term. And as far as the month of July, well, we've got uh, an average high of 72, an average low of 52. That makes it a below average month after a couple of marginally above average months of May and June, 3.3 degrees below the long term. What we have, the reason for the cool weather to close out the month, that big upper low that continues to spin near James Bay. It's all part of a deep trough that uh, has been holding over eastern North America since the latter portion of the weekend. Change is occurring though as the big ridge that's been up in western Canada flattens out. That's a sign that we're going to see the systems on the move again, and indeed that will happen. The big upper low lifts out. The flow aloft becomes west-northwesterly. Saturday, we expect high pressure to move in from the west and dominate our weather. It looks great, but Sunday, the next frontal system with the next chance of showers approaches. On Friday, there's a chance of showers, a little better chance than what occurred on Thursday because a trough will hold another one last disturbance, rotates around that upper air low and kicks off scattered showers, possible thunder showers. The best chance of rain will lie in the south central into the eastern portion of upper Michigan, roughly in this strip here. Then the showers move to the southeast with the prevailing upper air flow. The reason for it, the interaction of the Lake Michigan and Lake Superior breezes coming together, forcing that air to rise. High temperatures should be similar to what we had today. Uh, 60s near Lake Superior, 70s elsewhere, maybe even touching 80 before the clouds really develop in places like Iron Mountain. Then on Saturday, high pressure again starts the day right overhead. It looks like a cool start, but then a beautiful UP summer day with sunshine, light winds, relatively dry air. High temperatures should be close to where they've been, though maybe even a little bit warmer near the Great Lakes, especially Lake Superior, before the lake breeze kicks in around 70 in places like Munising to around 80 over interior areas away from any lake influence, for instance, like Iron Mountain. Your TV six day forecast again Sunday. The next front approaches from the northwest. There's a chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm first in the uh, northwestern UP. Could be as early as late Saturday night and then across the upper peninsula on Sunday.